Well, hello, my YouTube family. I am so, you just don't know. I'm so tired. I'm just so tired. It's a full moon out, people. So that's why I'm cranky. Everybody in God's creation is cranky. And people just don't remember what they tell you. And so they tell you the opposite. And then you have to do the opposite. And then when you do the opposite, they tell you to do the opposite. Lips of the day. Lips of the day. Let's, let's just get on with it. Now, this is the um, dewy. But I have a feeling the matte is dewier than the dewy. This is what I was using this, this, this morning, people. This was the dewy. Finish. And... This is it. There's still a glow, but I think yesterday's glow was better than this glow. And I'm using the same foundation, same moisturizer. Didn't change. It's still my color stay. I don't know. I use the same amount of dewiness, dewy spray, spritz, as I did for the matte. So, dare I say that I actually like the matte finish more than I like the dewy? You let me know, people. Right now, I'm too damn tired to dewy, matte, crack. <laughs> you know, I just... Okay, lips of the day, like I said. We're going to start off with the liner. And this I got from Amazon. It's some no-name brand. Italia Deluxe in Deep Purple, as you can see. There you go, deep purple, ultra fine lip liner, aligned, and filled is my Sonia Kashuk. It is Satin Luxe Lip Color in Plum Wine. Oh God, you can't even see that. There you go, Plum Wine. And that's what it looks like. So of course I was playing off the purple of my shirt. And this is it. This is plum wine. And this is plum wine, people. There you go. And it is very satiny and very smooth. Good stain power, but you do have to reapply because you kind of feel it slipping away. So when you feel it, time to re-up. So there you go. There's my Sonia Kashuk that I got from Target a long time ago. Like maybe, no, not that long ago. Three years ago, maybe. Possibly. I'm not sure. So that is that. But I forgot to tell you yesterday, people, and I am remembering today. This is the new mascara that I'm using. What? This is the Big Bold Volume by The Lash. NYC Mascara. This mascara, look at those lashes. Look at this brush. It's one of my plastic bristle brushes. But look at it. It's fat. And this thing grabs onto your lashes, doesn't let go, and gives you a nice curl, and gives you lasting power, and just combs through those lashes and as it's combing it's elongating and even though it says volume yeah I guess it does give you volume and it's got that mascara e kind of smell but this is the ish I am so happy I bought this mascara this is the ish people big bold volume by the lash NYC mascara highly suggest you go to your nearest I don't know where I got this. CVS? I forgot. CVS, Dwayne Reed, one of them. Walgreens. I forgot where I got it. But, um, definitely. I think it was CVS. Definitely get this mascara, because this mascara is the ish. So, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you the story. 
just going to be calm about it. I'm just going to be calm and rational about it. Because a lot of you told me, maybe not a lot of you, just some of you, told me that this was going to happen. And sure enough, it did. Remember yesterday I told you that I'm getting good at the vendor calls and I'm blocking those calls now and I know who to who to dodge and who to... So there was a, a, a vendor who called, I think, Friday and then called again today. Didn't call yesterday, I don't think, but called Friday and called again today. Said the same thing, you know, I need to speak to your supervisor and um, this this is the line that's supposed to get her through. Uh, my uh, vice president uh, asked me to call and she really has, now last week it was, she had set up an appointment to speak with your supervisor, which was a bold-faced lie. So today she tried to go a different route. Uh, my vice president uh, asked me to make the call to uh, your supervisor because uh, she really is anxious to have the same conversation that they had before. Bitch, you, you, your, your vice president has never spoken to my supervisor. But you know what? I said my supervisor is out sick today and would you mind leaving a number and she'll get back to you? Oh no, I'll call back. So you know what? This was the second time this person called. Sometimes they'll just call once and then they'll never call again. Or they'll wait a couple of weeks. So it's really not all that urgent. But she calls on Friday and she called again today. Got an itch on my ankle. Hold on. So I sent my supervisor the email. And I said, this particular person. And I, and I reminded her that this is the same person that called on Friday. And, uh, you know, she said the same line about the vice president wants to speak to you. And it's that and the other. And so I said, I'm getting really good at blocking these vendors because, you know, they're really trying. They're trying every trick in the book. So I sent the email. Here she comes back with, it's really unnecessary for you to block the calls. The next time she calls, just take her number and I'll call her back. So I emailed her back and I said, I've been asking her for her, her number. And all she keeps telling me is that she will continue to keep calling. So my supervisor said, well, of course she did. LOL. That doesn't tell me anything. That doesn't tell me to continue to get the mess. But she, she started off the email with, you don't have to, it's not necessary for you to block the calls. Here I am trying to be proactive because you don't want to take vendor calls. So I am blocking the vendor calls. And now you're telling me it's unnecessary to block the vendor calls. So that means every single, and they, they come fast and furious sometimes. They start off in the morning around 1030 and they go up until 1130. I don't know. They must have a set time or something. And they call and they call and they call and I, and I'm blocking and I'm like, dodge, it's like dodging bullets. Bat, 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 bat. And I'm getting good at it. But now she wants me to tell her that they're calling. She wants me to tell her that they're calling so she can tell me that she doesn't want to take the call. It's unnecessary for you to block the calls. I'm trying to be proactive and I'm trying to help you out. Because you specifically said, Nancy, there are too many vendors that you're sending my way. Okay, so bitch, I'm trying to block the vendors for you. Now it's unnecessary for me to block the vendor calls. So every single vendor that calls for you, even though I know it's a vendor now, you want me to call you to tell you that it's a vendor so you can tell me I don't want the vendor calls so I can go back to the vendor and tell him that he does that, that you know, I have to make up some shit now. And now you don't want to talk to the vendor where in the beginning, like as I was doing, I hear it's a, it's a vendor call. I'll just block it. He'll call another day. I always ask, you know, I, I make up shit like crazy. She's out sick. She's not in office, blah, blah, blah. And I always follow it up with, could you leave your name and number and she will get back to you. And they always come back with, no, no, it's unnecessary. I'll, just, I'll try calling her back another time. So I've, I've prevented you from even taking the call. They'll call again and I'll keep doing that until they stop calling. So then you don't have to worry about it. No, now it's unnecessary for me to block the vendor's calls. So now you want me to tell you each and every time a vendor calls, 
and I tell you such and such is on the phone. He wants to, he's calling from such and such. And, um, he wants to talk to you about so-and-so. So you can come back to me and say, it's a vendor, uh, you know, take a message. I don't want to take the call. So now I have to go back to him, make up some bullshit so he could, so I can say, can I take your number so he could, so she could call you back? And then he comes back with, no, it's unnecessary. I will call her back. So that's like, let's say tomorrow, that'll be Wednesday. He'll try calling back on Friday. So when he calls back on Friday, I call you to let you know, oh, it's the same person from such and such from so-and-so. He wants to talk to you about such and such. So you can tell me, uh, no, it's a vendor. I don't want to take the call. Just make up so you can try to get his number and I'll call him back. So, so it's just a rotating, it's just a rat on a wheel. Just, I'm just going. I'm just constantly, and I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. One of these days, people, and I hope it's not soon, I will be making a video, and I will be telling you something about my job, and you'll just eventually just see my head explode. It'll be an ugly mess, but it, it would probably get to that point. I'm not wishing it on myself. I'm not wishing it on my worst as an enemy. But do you see the madness? Do you see the madness? Do you see the madness? Can, can you understand what? And I can tell a vendor from an important call. I'm not that stupid. This is not my first time around. Okay. I, I've been on this rodeo before. I know which are vendor calls and which are, you know, can I speak to your so-and-so supervisor? It's such and such. And I'm like, oh, I know who that person is. And I'll send him through. Or I will call you and I will let you know he's on the phone. And then you will say, yes, patch him through. And then I will patch him through. But now I know the vendors. But you want me to tell you that they're vendors because you don't want me to block the calls. I'm trying to do you a favor. But uh, OK. And then, oh, this was a, this was the piece de resistance today. Those temporaries, those temps are, this is week three now, training, week three. Back and forth, back and forth. Now the key cards are working, so I don't have to worry about that. Back and forth, up and down the elevators, up and down the elevators. Please close the doors. Could you please close the doors? Can, I, can you please close the doors? Can you close the doors behind you? This is me all day long. Or they'll go and they won't close the door. So I have to get up, close the door. The phones are ringing. I got to get up, close the other door. And then there'll always be one or two. I forgot my badge. Could you let me? Sure, I'll let you in. Phone's ringing off the hook. You left the, oh, the first door open. Could you please close the door? And I'm answering the phone. And now you're standing at the door that I have to open. But I'm on the phone now. So now you're just going to have to wait. <sighs> Week three. So here comes one, one of them. And she is, she is mad as a hornet's nest, honey. She come busting out the door. And she's talking to somebody else. I don't understand what the problem is. They should let me go downstairs. I know what I'm doing. I don't have to be up here. My training should be over. I don't understand how this company works. This, and she's, she's saying this in front of me. Now, a bright person would say, can I talk to you outside because I really need to vent? Or can I discuss something with you outside? And then you and that other person can vent outside. But why are you saying this in front of the receptionist? Because I work in the company, and although I have to admit I agree with everything she was saying, she's realizing how dysfunctional the company works, and it's only week three for her. It took me four years, or th three and a half at least. She, and she's venting, venting, venting. I mean, she's going off, and I'm sitting there, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of looking at her, and I'm kind of not looking at her. I'm kind of looking at her like. Bitch, do you not realize how you're opening your mouth in front of me and I work in the company? I can easily tell anybody that you are training with that this one's going to be a, a problem for you. So you either let her go now because she ain't happy. And it's only week three in training. She ain't happy. Let her go. I could be that bitch, but I'm not going to be. She'll figure it out herself. If she's so frustrated now, even before she starts to work, because this is just training. She hasn't even started work yet. She is bitching and moaning about the training. And I heard through the grapevine that they already let three or four of the temps go. So, because this particular case is very, very 
secretive for some reason. I don't know why. They're not allowed to use their cell phone. They're not use. They're not allowed to bring pen and paper. They're not allowed to bring any any kind of tablet or any. So I don't understand what the whole hush hush situation is. But they're on their cell phones all the time. So the three that the three that obviously got let go, they were too busy on their cell phones, even though they were specifically told not to bring cell phones. And the women were not supposed to bring huge bags. I see huge bags coming in and out like nobody's business. But these these people are still here. So I just don't know. I feel like sometimes I work in a jack-in-the-box. And I'm not talking about the restaurant. I'm talking about the actual jack-in-the-box. And you do 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 the jack-in-the-box pops up. The jack of the box is me, and I pop up when I'm venting. That's me just letting it all out, and then I go back into my box <laughs> until it's time for me to vent again. I just don't understand. I, ju I really, somebody needs to explain it to me. Somebody needs to explain it to me. I'm trying to be proactive. You don't want me to be proactive. I'm trying to prevent the vendors from coming through. You know you don't want to talk to the vendors, and I know you don't want to talk to the vendors. But you want me to let the vendor calls, you want me to put the whole call on hold, let you know that it is a vendor. So you can tell me that I don't want to speak to the vendor, even though I already knew ahead of time that you don't want to speak to the vendor. But you want me to tell you that it is a vendor, so you can tell me that you don't want to speak to the vendor, so I can go back to the vendor and tell them, you know, any kind of situation that they don't want to speak to you. My supervisor doesn't want to speak to you. Where if the vendor had called, I would have blocked the call. Uh, she's out. She's out sick or whatever. And then you would have kept on working. So now don't bitch and moan when I keep calling you every five minutes because that's how fast sometimes these vendors call. Every 10 minutes, a vendor is going to call. I'm going to call you. I'm going to let you know it's a vendor. You're going to have to tell me either A, you, wanna, you want the call. B, you don't want the call. So now I have to go back to the vendor. Oh, no, no. But then watch. <laughs> Sometime next week, um, Nancy, you don't have to let me know if the vent if it's a vendor. You can block the calls. You know that's coming, right? And she won't remember that she told me not to block. And I have it on email. Ah, I got I got it on paper now. I got a paper trail on the email. You specifically told me not to block the calls. But now you don't want me. So, I really have to learn to just let this shit just roll off my shoulders. I'm sorry. This is a full moon, and it's I don't know if it's going to be full moon for the entire week or what have you, but I just realized that today, yes, it's a, it's a full moon. I can understand the wackiness now. I can understand the crazy. But that doesn't explain the crazy 365 days a year. We don't have a full moon 365 days a year. So, okay, I can explain today's craziness and wackiness. But what what's it going to be next week? Because the moon, moon is not going to stay full for two weeks. As a matter of fact, as of tomorrow, it'll start to decrease. So, um, what's the explanation for those other days? Until we get another full moon? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, people. I, um... I just have to learn to let it roll off my shoulders. I really do. I really do. And I have got to tell you, mm -mm, this morning when I came to work, I was late. I was about 10 minutes late. First of all, it was raining buckets this morning. Okay. So, you know, people don't know how to drive in the rain. Okay. That's fine. And I was, I was hungry. I, I parked the car. It was already nine o'clock. I said, bitch, I don't really don't give a shit. I am going to go. To the cafeteria, I'm going to get a toasted buttered corn muffin and some grapefruit juice. I'm taking it upstairs with me and I'm going to have my breakfast. I'm walking in and there's this guy. He thinks he's so cute. He's really not. He's standing at the other door and he's he sees me coming in and he's like, tap, he's got his hand on his shoulder and he's tapping his foot. Like, why are you late? So I walked in with a look. I don't know what this look was, but I was, I know I gave him a look. And he was like, oh, okay. I said, I am not in the mood. What do you want? I am not, I'm, I'm not the one right now. 
And he goes, oh, I can see you got stuck in the same kind of traffic I did. I said, yep. Mm -hmm. He goes, you know what? I was going to ask you about which conference room is available for, for what meeting. But you know what? I'm going to come back. You know, he never did, right? I walked in and I felt my face. Like, don't even. I'm not the one right now. I'm not the one right now. No. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. I'm not the one right now. So he must have, he, I, I, it must have been daggers. It really must have been daggers. And he said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'll, you know, I'll give you time to settle down and I'll come back. He never did. He realized what room he was in. So he figured it out for himself. Do not come at me. You guys can come in. I don't care if you start your day at 7.30 in the morning. I don't start that early. So when I come in at 9, when my day is starting and you've already been in the midst of your job, that's you. That's not me. So don't come at me, especially since I haven't even gotten behind my damn desk yet. Computer's not on. TV's not on. Nothing. So you're asking me for information. I'm not behind the desk yet. So... I don't, I don't, I don't memorize everything that's in my computer through osmosis. Can't do it. I don't have that talent. So you are going to have to cut me some slack. Give me some time to breathe. Get my fat ass on the chair. Turn on the computer before you get any kind of answer. Okay. And you know, computers take a while to warm up. So you're going to be standing there for quite a while. Either you come back, give me about five or 10 minutes. Come back with your question or stand there like an ass and wait for everything to turn on. Okay. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. So don't come at me with your stupid ass questions. What room do we have? You are coordinating with another person. Ask the other person, what room are we in? He figured it out. He sure as hell did. He figured it out for himself. Never came back. Didn't see him the rest of the day. Good boy. I know it's every time I give you a bit of the story, I have to take a breath afterwards because this is what I have to work with on a freaking daily basis. And you know, I didn't want to say freaking, yeah, a freaking daily basis. I have a supervisor who today is red, tomorrow's blue. Uh, the next day will be orange. The next day will be purple. It's never, it's, ne it's not consistent, not consistent at all. Okay. And the other person in the HR, not shorty, not new girl, big girl. I'm going to call her big girl because she's big. And uh, she's a little bigger than me. I mean, we're both big, but she's just a little bigger than me. Big girl. She got to get it together. She got to realize that this is what I'm doing right now. Talk amongst yourselves. Because I know that shorty must have told you, oh, yeah, this is what Nancy's doing now. She's vetting the calls. So I'm vetting your calls. And I got somebody on hold for you. Somebody called for big girl. And I said, oh, please hold. And I called big girl and I said, so-and-so, I have so-and-so from such and such company on the line. He wants to talk to you about benefits and salaries and such. And she's like, really? I'm not expecting the call. And I said, well, you know, I could, I could let him, I could take a message if you, and I'll email you. No, no, wait a minute. And then she's like, wait a minute, do I need to talk to him? And I'm like, Oh, the rest of my phones aren't ringing. I'll just wait until you make a decision. So I'm just, I'm just holding the phone and she's going, um, wait, do I need to speak to him? I don't even know who he is. And I asked her again, I could take a message for you. No, no, no. You know what? Send the call through. So I have one that's indecisive. I've got my supervisor who Monday vet the calls, Tuesday, don't vet the calls, Wednesday, block the calls, uh, Thursday, don't block the calls. I got that. And I've got Shorty who, she at least she's good. She takes the calls. She got a couple today. And she was, she was like, okay, I'll say, good. Good. Maybe you could teach my supervisor some lessons about just taking the damn calls. And then you wonder, people, why I go on these binges of, you know, I'm on a foundation kick or I'm on a lipstick kick. It, it, they send me to that. They drive me to it.
They drive me to it. But it is Tuesday, two down, and it's only Tuesday. God, it's only Tuesday. It's Tuesday, two down, three more to go. Okay, that's it. That's all, people. That is it. That is all. I have, uh, I have, I mean, I like the look. Don't get me wrong. I just have a feeling that yesterday's face was just a little bit more dewy than today's face. And I am not complaining. This is still dewy looking. It's still, you know, I've still got that brightness about it. I've still got that. I like the look. I do like the look. And, um, yeah, I like it. <laughs> but I have a feeling. I just have a feeling that yesterday. And I did spritz as much as I did yesterday. So, I don't know. And so, you know, I'm home now. So, I really don't care. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. That is it. That is all. I think tonight is Real House. Because, of course, this week's TV Guide didn't come. So I'm I'm flying blind. I still have last week's TV Guide. So I have to kind of backtrack to see, okay, on Tuesdays, what do I normally watch? I, I emailed TV Guide. I said, um, excuse you. My subscription is paid in full. Where is this week's TV Guide? Of course, they come back with, oh, we're sorry for the inconvenience. We'll extend your your subscription due to our mistake. That's not answering my question. Are you going to send a, 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 a TV Guide to me or not? Apparently not. So I'm just going to fly blind this week. I don't know what I'm missing, what I'm not missing. So I think it's Tuesday. So it's t Tuesday. Tuesday is Real Housewives of New York, if I'm not mistaken. It's, there's a Real Housewives of something on tonight, right? I think it's New York. Hello. So I'm be looking forward to that. And I don't know what else. So I'm I'm all for Klimt. I'm all for Klimt. Okay. So that's just, just the week I'm having, people. Oh, just the week I'm having. It's only Tuesday. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think of everything. Lips of the day. I love this shade. And um, I will talk to you tomorrow. Stay tuned, people. Stay tuned. Every day is a different adventure. Every single day. I love you. I love my YouTube family. I am going to go and relax. And then you wonder why I eat ice, why I crunch ice. Because the ice cubes, they just cool my insides. They calm me down. They calm me down. They really do. I take two trays out pretty much every night. I know it's not good for my teeth. I know it's not good for my teeth, but I don't, I don't take them out the tray and then immediately I just, I, I let them melt in my mouth a little bit. And then when they get real thin, then I crunch. But you wonder why it's not because I, it, people think it, there's, there was a certain thing about, you know, women crunch on ice because they're sexually frustrated. That had nothing to do with it. It was because we were low on iron. Hello. And I know I'm, I do take my iron pills, so don't be bitching and moaning to me about that, okay? I may not take them every day, but I do take them, okay? So I, I find comfort in chewing on ice, all right? So can I just, can you just leave me alone? I have very strong teeth, thank God. And the ice crunching calms me. Because it cools my insides. It really does. It cools my insides. And it just... Maybe it lowers my, my blood pressure. I don't know. But anyway. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. I love you so very much. Thank you for letting me vent. Thank you for letting me bend your ears. And uh, just thank you. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Bye now.